Good morning, guys. TGIF. It is Friday. Yay. I love Fridays. I don't know why. Nothing much changes, but I love Fridays. Uh, maybe because the weekend's here and tomorrow we have nothing specific to do. Like, no, like, we have to be somewhere at a certain time. So I'm going to get to sleep in or relax or just take things easy, not like rush around or have to be ready by a certain time, have the kids ready by a certain time. So I'm so excited for that because I need it. As you can tell. Um, so we have a busy day though today. Phoenix is having therapy in about 10 minutes. And right after therapy, we are gonna go to, the, I have to stop at the post office because my new diaper bag got delivered this morning. And the, the mailman came and he said, oh, the lady said that you didn't want big packages left at your door. So she left it at the post office for you to pick up or something like that. So they left like a little note saying it was attempted to deliver, but I, it was at eight o'clock and I guess I was sleeping. I'm like, are you kidding me? What, mama, you wanna get down? You just wanted me to pick you up. So I was like, great, now I have to go to the post office because I have to go, by the time I get back home, like after everything I do, they're gonna be closed. So I have to go beforehand. So I'm gonna have to like run in, but with two kids. So I don't even know how I'm gonna do it because I know Avery's gonna be tired as soon as we get in the car, possibly fall asleep. So I'm gonna have to like take out the whole car seat and then Phoenix by his hand because I'm not gonna take the stroller out just to literally walk right in. I don't know what I'm gonna do and then hopefully the box isn't huge because the bag is like probably as big as this one but you know they always have a huge box but anyway I have to figure that out qu quickly because then I'm gonna go meet up with Chrissy from Luna Baby Vlogs we're gonna go to a park by her kind of by her house like in, in uh, that area um, and then after that I want to go to Party City and I want to go to Dollar Tree and I'm probably gonna stop by my cousin's house to drop off the CD I made for her daughter's birthday, if they're home, which hopefully they are. So yeah, so we're gonna be out a long time today. So I packed up the diaper bag and bring everything and hopefully as soon as therapy's over, I can just get out the door like I did last week when I went to the car dealership. Sorry, I was checking in, but it's recording because I probably was talking to nobody. And Avery woke up this morning like at four, at two she woke up and came to bed with me. Then she woke up like at four-ish, almost five, and I had to give her a bottle because she was just crying. So I think she's going through a growth spurt or something. And then she fell asleep like at six. No, it was like six and she, Phoenix was waking up. I think she woke him up, but he was still like, look at this. Sit down, please. Hey, we don't do gymnastics on the couch. Sit down. If you want to do that, you do it on the floor. Um, so he was awake and I was like, oh no, he starts screaming. He was standing up for a little bit, but then he laid back down and fell asleep. And she fell asleep. And I'll insert here a picture that my husband took when he got out of the shower. And we were sleeping. Um, I had the baby monitor in my hand because I was watching him. And then um, I had, I was, how I told you guys yesterday, how I had to like sleep sideways because she sleeps a certain way. So yeah, that's how I look. So anyway, I'll see you guys when we leave. Excuse me, Phoenix. It's not funny. You can do that on the floor. Come on. Go ahead. On the floor. On the floor. Look at this one in the closet. Oh boy. No, no, don't touch that. Don't touch that. So I left the post office and I have nothing. It said left at the post office and the guy's like, she shouldn't have wrote that because they don't get it until nine o'clock tomorrow morning or by nine o'clock tomorrow morning. And he said, I don't know why she didn't leave it at your door. Um, the mailman said that she said, oh, I don't want big packages left at my door, which that's not true. I have packages left at my door all the time. So that's frustrating and ugh, whatever. So he said, to, he gave me a number to call, see if maybe somebody could deliver it later, but whatever. Bus. I'm just probably bus. Good job, Bubba. Um, I'm probably just gonna have to go tomorrow morning and get it because I don't want to deal with, oh, somebody else delivered it, and then if they don't, and then I still have to wait till Monday at that point. So that was pointless. I had to take Avery out in the car seat because she was asleep when she woke up, and then I had to take Phoenix out. So I was like, holding both things and then whatever so now I'm on my way to meet up with Chrissy and hopefully I get there it's 12 30 now 
it's, it's like it would have took me two seconds to go in there isn't a line and the guy went to the back and looked for like two minutes and then that's it so it's like that would have took me five minutes total but it took me almost 20 minutes because I had to get her out then get him out and lock the car and walk then put her down open the door get her in get them in and all that good stuff and then do the same thing backwards so it took like almost 20 minutes to do that for nothing so but I tried to call but they wouldn't I was like representative and they wouldn't give me a representative they said I had all the information I needed because it asked for a tracking number or whatever and it's like it, you have all the information you need you don't need to talk to a representative what like I need to talk to somebody because I wanted to see if the package was there and if um which air, which post office it was in the one in my town or in the next town over or whatever but anyway so yeah that was my little post office day and Kayla I think a month after her birthday oh, yeah. Kayla won't leave kids are playing oh <laughs> follow her Phoenix go get her Phoenix found numbers go get her where's Annalie say Annalie <laughs> Look, go get her! <laughs> Look, go, go, go! Uh, he's like, <laughs> I'll play with you, but around the numbers. Of them. <laughs> go get her! Show her the numbers. Oh, oh now I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all girl. Are you guys too cute? And look at Avery over there. <laughs> She's like, oh, I want to run. If I put her on the floor, she'll like eat everything. Go get Annalie. Where's Annalie? Look, Bubba, the bridge. You like the bridge? Look. Jump, jump, jump. Go ahead. Jump, jump, jump. I can get it. Yeah. Oh no, you're so silly. <laughs> wow. Oh, you see the truck? Go that way, buddy. He's like confused. Which way do I go? This way, Bubba. Look, this way. This way. Come this way. There's a slide. Good job. <laughs> He's like scared. That doesn't move. Hi. This way, buddy. Look. Phoenix. Slide. No? Okay. You guys can go that way. Oh my God. He looks her. Oh, they need to put some oil on these slides. <laughs> you waiting for her? Good job. Say Annalie. He said it when I, in the car. Annalie. Chasing boys so young. <laughs> oh yeah. That's not awesome. <laughs> oh look, he's going. Where's Annalie? Hey. He's looking for her like where's Annalie? <laughs> oh <laughs> they just missed <laughs> Is that the baby? <laughs> She's like talking to her. Do you have any treats in there? <laughs> Those glasses are actually Kayla's. Oh, yeah? Whoa! You were waiting good. Now it's her turn. You take turns. Oh, she's like, wait, I'm gonna have to drive first. He's like, okay, I'm gonna sit. I'm just gonna cut in front of you then. <laughs> I just it. Yeah, you're driving. Whenever she does this, she does beep beep. <laughs> oh, look, he's he let her, her go. Oh, so sweet, buddy. So Let's just hope he doesn't push her. <laughs> he's like, We're go. Like, so sweet, and then he's gonna. Oh, good no, job, buddy. He waited. Oh, my goodness. Your son is good. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good waiting. And letting her go first. Oh, that was so nice. 
Is that fun? <laughs> Swinging with Annalie? Avery. I'm so used to saying Avery. <laughs> Is Chrissy pushing you? <laughs> Oh, well, that's a good breeze. Uh, Stop the McDonald's for fries and a mango drink into the give Phoenix his pudding. I stopped the McDonald's because I was giving Phoenix muffins and they were like falling apart. So they made a mess and he barely could eat them. So I stopped at McDonald's. I got a mango smoothie, some french fries for me, and um, gave Avery her bottle and gave Phoenix a pudding. Now everybody's refueled. I changed diapers before we left the park. Uh, and now I'm going to go to my cousin's house. Oh. I don't know where I think I'm going. Uh, to get rid of the CD. Avery's like in and out of sleep. She's so tired. I want her to fall asleep. That's why I'm like not stopping. Yeah, the Phoenix is on the phone. This tastes so good. We're at Target. Yeah, this wasn't in our plan. But, um, we need some stuff. Okay. Say hi. And of course, she wakes up right as I get her. In. I could have put her without that, but I'll go to Party City after. So I barely made it out of the parking lot. I'm still in the parking lot of Target. I had to leave because she was fussy. And then I was pulling out and she's screaming her head off. And then she starts throwing up and it's coming out of her nose. I'm trying to like pull out of the spot. And she was like not breathing. She's like, it just kept coming out and coming out and coming out of her nose. And she was like not breathing. Like, because it was all clogged up. And then I had to like pull over as soon as I got out of the spot. Rush over, get her out. It was everywhere. I don't know if you can see her shirt wet. And now I don't know what to do because she's like crying. If I put her back in the seat, and she starts throwing up like that again while I'm like on a highway or something. It's not like highway, highway from here to my house, but like if I'm on, like I can't pull. What if I can't pull over? I'm just waiting a bit. She's a little calmer when I'm holding her, but not even. And she just had a bottle at three o'clock, and it's four, I think. It's four sixteen, so she can't be hungry. I don't know what it is, and poor Phoenix is just sitting in there, so exhausted. I still wanted to go to Dollar Tree, which I doubt I can do now. I didn't even know what I went into Target for. Like, I had a list somewhere, and couldn't find it. I know I needed puffs and food for her, and then, I don't know, I know I needed other stuff, but I didn't, I didn't even have time to get it. I don't know what to do right now. So I put her back, and she starts screaming. I don't want to give her a bottle because she just spit up. So if she drinks the bottle and starts spitting up, Avery, what's the matter? She slept, so it's not that she hasn't slept. I think she's she's sick, but I don't even know what. The only signs of it is her crying like this. There's no other really signs. So now I have to drive around so that they can stay sleeping because I don't want to wake them up after all that. So just driving around, <laughs> wasting gas pretty much. So we're finally inside. Oh boy, what a day that did not go as planned at all. I didn't go to Party City or um, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Uh, Phoenix woke up in the car and then he started crying, saying, I want, I want, but wouldn't finish the sentence. Then that woke up Avery, so they were both crying as we were trying to come in the door. My husband's texting me about dinner, and I'm just like, oh, and then I had a, a box on that I had to bring in. Today's like package day. I got my diaper bag that's in the post office limbo somewhere. This is um, Lizzie's Gardens baby food. Uh, I got chosen to be a brand ambassador, so they sent me some baby food and I got um, two things that I ordered. I ordered this um, fail, fail proof nails thing. You put it around your nail like around the cuticle like that and then you paint and then that peels right off so this way you can uh, it'll be perfect so finally got that it's only four bucks so that was pretty cool and it's like a they're like a home and uh I don't think it's a mom but it's like it's like Etsy that like I got it's from Instagram so and then I got this shirt for Avery's baptism like afterwards 
the her godparents both have this shirt so I wanted her to have it so that they can take a picture and it says the goddaughter they have the godmother and the godfather so and they have it in black so I got her one in pink I thought this was um black and pink but you can see it's red uh, whatever so yeah it's like package day all these packages so here are the kids uh, finally figured out what Phoenix was screaming about he wanted the iPad and I wasn't fighting him so I just gave him the iPad and I'm about to change diapers now and put away all you know the diaper bag stuff and I sit down and hopefully relax Avery just ate this um apple and pear sauce and look at she ate it like so fast now I'm just letting her play with it is that yummy <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's okay. You trying to get more? You're so smart. You know there's more. You have to put the spoon in to get more. Yeah, you're going to be feeding yourself. I'm going to make you feed your brother. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yay. Yay. Look at you. You're so smart. Go ahead. That's how you hold it. Oh, yeah! <laughs>